Hello guys and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode save. Can we keep this great run going? That is the million dollar question. We have a jam packed episode today so we're going to welcome Fulham to Selhurst Park. Then we're going to give some of our youngsters a run out against Sheffield Wednesday in the EFL Cup. Then we have a tricky tie against Manchester United at Old Trafford. I'm just hoping we can get through that one unscathed before ending the episode at home so to Nottingham Forest. Let's go you Eagles. Tyrek Mitchell. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. Can they square the game? It's a perfect challenge. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Seems to me that his foot's... Oh, Jeff, I have to jump in. There's a chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And there's certainly no doubt... Clearance. Willian. And Willian. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. To get the shot off. Looking for someone to play it to. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And a Fulham throw-in coming up here. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. And slotted home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Now, sending it in. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. They could nudge in front. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Underway again. Good teams. And played in. Well, the cross was deep. A little too deep. Showing good width here, Palace. Chance to level it, and it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Steven here, the casual atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden day. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Real chance. Oh, that one. Well, that's eye-catching wide play. Can he finish? Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home precision and stop Held up as they try to fashion something oh could be an opportunity here Cap oh fine play and maybe it'll set something up and making the move to the inside great opportunity and Palace could get in behind the defence that is tackling this could level it and it is the equaliser, parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the shot. 
Jordan, are you here? Shot attempted. My goodness. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a chance. Can they produce something? Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps... Could cross it in here. Can he finish? Oh, another goal! Cute him. That was a great performance from the second string side. However... We need to stop giving away late goals. I don't know if the game goes up a notch towards the end or not, but these late goals are killing me. <laughs> we need to up our focus, increase our concentration in the latter stages of the game because we have Manchester United next. We're going to Old Trafford. And if the last two games are anything to go by, I am not 100% sure how this is going to play out. Potential to be a very high scoring game. <laughs> Um, but we move. Let's go, you Eagles. Let's show Manchester United what we're about. Edward, looking towards you to lead the line. Eze, we're looking towards you to do what you need to do, provide that little bit of magic in the middle of the park. Let's go, you Eagles. Avance in possession to give them the lead, maybe, and a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the... K it's looking promising. Bruno Fernandes. Real chance. And it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course. Well, here it is again. And you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really... ...from here. Can they get one back? And there is the goal. Wow changes the equation and they have the momentum now well here's the goal again and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal oh surely and a goal here for Manchester United they are the big favourites now well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space What's out on the break here well, they need to get bodies back. Real chance. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Oh, in with a chance. An absolutely breathtaking spell. We were ready to write them off. But not anymore. All square now. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. 
credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Anthony. United might be able to cash in. Can he finish? And a decent save. Full credit. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And taken short. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. On the ball. And maybe Rashford. A goal! That's two for him today. It might be on for them. Oh, in with a chance. Third. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Martial. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That... And Edouard with it. He just needs to keep a cool head. Oh, oh a smart stop. Wow. And the referee blows for full time. In all it's my years of Palace playing football games, this is no the most embarrassing result I have ever had in my whole life. <laughs> that was... I, that was a truly humbling experience. That's Arsenal getting beat 6 1. That's Arsenal getting beat 8 2. You know, this this was beyond embarrassing. So I have nothing to say. Um, nothing to say. We just have to bounce back in the next game. I've been trying to sell this Remy Matthews guy all summer. All summer, I haven't been, haven't been able to get rid of this guy. Um, so a team has come in with I guess more money than the teams in the summer were bidding for him so I tried to get it more closer to 500k so hopefully this Remy Matthews goalkeeper he will leave to one of these three sides because I have been trying to get rid of him for the whole summer transfer period and that will take us to our final game against Nottingham Forest because we absolutely cannot leave on that L that Manchester United gave us. So Nottingham Forest, we have a lot of them currently and we are definitely going to be looking to avenge, lick our wounds and put things right for the fans. Come on you Eagles! The stage is set and the prospect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge of their ability to perform under pressure. Only one team can come out on top. Who will it be? Stay with us on EA TV. Will Hughes. Might jump in front. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here it is again. And they've taken their goal well. But the defending was non-existent. That should never... Attacking possibilities for Palace. Can he finish? And a goal! Another one! Two! No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Hudson Odoi. And Hughes has it. Gives it a go. Hudson Odoi. Nice weight on the pass. He's in behind the defence here. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. 
Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Ezzy. And Edouard with it. Is this the moment? It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here it. Can he finish? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the big strike. Ezzy. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. A real opening now. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merits it. Well, here it is again. Ezzy. He's in behind. Can he finish? A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. On to Klein. Much, much better performance. I mean, the difference when you play a five-star team or even one of those elite top teams in the Premier League compared to, let's say, a Nottingham Forest or a mid-table side is night and day. It's much more enjoyable, but at the same hand, you learn more against the tougher opponents. Um, it was a great performance today. Schlupp, Eduard, Eze, as expected, all came through. Um, five goals to two and hopefully we can try to start chipping away from our um, the goal difference because I know our goal difference must be crazy after that Man United loss um, but we we'll move on to the next one speaking of the next one we have a crazy episode next time <laughs> we are away at Newcastle and we welcome Tottenham to Selhurst Park Oh man. Looking at the table, we find ourselves in fifth on 14 points. Um, not too bad. I mean, we're, our only objective this season for the domestic league is to come mid table, so that's a good start so far. Uh, but look at our goal difference zero and scored 28, conceded 28. That's something we definitely need to help swing in our favour, you know. Um, but so far so good I can't complain the team is playing well we're winning we also lost two times but you know we're in we're, we're in the mix to be um, a mid-table side Arsenal leading the way of 19 points um, followed by Chelsea and Newcastle um, it's pretty tight at the top and that will be that for today's episode crazy ups and downs so many goals <laughs> um, thank you for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic day ahead. Peace.